ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and the Let's Farm IO series here on UMRV. We are here in the cow pen getting some manure hauled out. Um, as you can see, we have a <laughs> different manure spreader. It's the JBS uh, manure spreader that Dennis Farms uh, converted and brought into 22 originally by random sparks I believe in 19 so um, we had the pick right and I was really excited to use it but it's not allowing me to um, dump in the top so like it, there's just like no fill trigger in the top or something so uh, we created ourselves kind of a mess uh, trying to figure that one out. So there's a few piles here that would just drop through the bottom of the manure spreader. So yeah, that was interesting. So, But unfortunately, we are not going to be able to use that manure spreader. So we sold it, picked ourselves up uh, this manure spreader here, and we'll be using this from now on. So... Yeah, it's uh, this is still a pretty, pretty cool man American style manure spreader. So I had a whole bit recorded before this, kind of introing the episode and all that junk. But it just there was all that that issue with the manure spreader, and I figured, hey, let's just scrap it and start start over. So. Here we are, we are loading our first, or hauling our first load of manure. We finally got some reprieve from the heavy snow. Um, that's pretty much been nonstop all winter, so. Uh, luckily a little bit of it melted overnight and uh, we have some clear roads and the ability to get into our fields a little bit here because these, Fields really need to be, well, no, our pens need to be uh, cleaned out of manure because they are both pretty much full. So uh, we did end up, uh, we did end up putting a manure point down for the other cow pen there. Um, I did it because I figured, you know, these cows are gonna be in in the barn and you're gonna have be cleaning out the barn a little bit. So it doesn't hold a ton, but there is a little bit of manure in there. So I'm sure it's been full for a while. I'm pretty sure it has, so, um, but yeah. We uh, will have a little bit of manure to spread from there as well. And hopefully we can get this field covered <clears throat> and maybe another one I'm not sure let's see what the application rate is are we not applying oh yes that I need to address that too so I'm sure you guys see that we have a lot more money in the top right we have sold all of our crop our oat and our dry corn so we sold all that off and with that we got about three hundred thousand a little bit over that I think like thirty three hundred and forty thousand I want to say I think that's actually what we ended up with so we had a comment on the last video because we are getting so in debt um, that they mentioned that the that Kadirk was having this issue on his uh, UMRV save, and that is with the field lease uh, mod, and that's what we were doing. I mean, we pretty much had a lease on all of our fields. Besides. No, I think we had a lease on all of our fields. I think all of our fields were leased because they're so expensive. And I was trying to start like with legitimately 50 or 1.5 million. So <laughs> that would have only given us like one field if we did it that way. So 
he said that if you're playing with multiple seasons, you will the app or er, the app the mod will charge you a full month's like lease price every day. So we were paying a full month lease price every day. So that's why we were getting charged like fifty thousand dollars per day. Um, and yeah, that wasn't really ideal. So we worked with the bank and we pretty much took out like three million dollars in loans and we bought our fields outright. Us doing that allowed us to not get nearly as much t money taken out. So we had about, here, let's just check so you guys can know we're doing this legit. So in January, we sold our crops. So harvest income, 282,000. I thought we had more than that, but uh, 282,000 from our harvest income. Um, let's see. Yeah, see this miscellaneous before? See how much money we were getting taken out? And then we end up uh, doing it this way, and we aren't getting nearly as much taken out. So, I mean, look, compared, it's crazy. So this is just our interest on our, on our loans, I'm pretty sure. Or no, this is. This is our interest on our loans now that we have $3 million compared to 100000 nearly in the other months. So if you're going to lease a lot of stuff, uh, install the loan limit mod where you can, in, where you can have more loans and do it that way because yeah, that mod is not the uh, lease fields mod is not not the way to go. So we're only getting like thirteen thousand taken out per day, which is a lot lot better than fifty thousand per day. So we might actually be able to go somewhere in the safe because I was honestly I was getting a little worried. It was uh, getting to the point where I was like, this is, we're not going to make any money. And the whole point of the series is to like roll over our assets into the next, uh, let's play. So yeah, it's, I am much happier now with kind of the direction that this <laughs> save is going, at least in the finance department. So yeah, let's, uh, Let's hop out. I think we're gonna clean up these small piles here quick. This manure is heavy, so I cannot fill this whole bucket up um, with manure and dump it or else my loader tips something, something fierce, so. Fifty percent is what we're gonna do. Don't worry, we're gonna make sure we hose out this uh, bucket real good before we use it for feeding again. Maybe we'll get a different bucket for scooping manure, but I figured it's not really needed. You can just hose it down, right? Nobody's gonna tell. One's gonna tell on us. And it gets the job done fairly quick, which is good. Which I do enjoy about this series. We're kind of using a little bit oversized equipment for the land that we have. And that's because in the other series, we are... I mean, at least in Ashton, we're running a lot of land. It's the most realistic save we have, I think, Ashton Corners. And it takes some time, that's 
for sure. It takes some time to get the jobs done. So, this one we can kind of be quick and just kind of do it, you know, pretend that we're running the right size equipment for what we have. So, but, I don't, yeah, yeah, I'm, I like this uh, manure spreader actually. I wasn't sure how big it was. I was nervous that it would be a little bit oversized, but actually I feel like it's actually a pretty good size. We're going to probably get a few, like, I think we'll probably get at least four loads, four trips to the field with this one, so. It's not too bad. It holds like 21,000 liters. Or, if you can see in the bottom right, we installed the unit convert mod finally. So, we have it set to feet, apparently. And we have 741 feet of manure. I'm not familiar with those measurements, to be honest. My father-in-law, who is a who owns his own gravel pit, I'm sure would know these measure feet, square foot, a lot better than me. But yeah, I'm not. Uh, that doesn't really mean a whole lot to me, to be honest. So. Because I'm not familiar with the measurement. I mean, I know it's like a measurement that we use, but like I can't, in my mind, I can't imagine 741 square feet. Like I can't even like think of what that looks like. So anyway, let's. Oh shoot, let's uh, buy. We need to buy the. Daggum, uh, soil info. That's what we were going to do. I am all sorts of scatterbrained today. Sorry about that, guys. There's a lot going on. In the mind of Simulation Station these last few days, so... Let's uh, keep at this, hey? Manure spreading. We're doing a lot of my a lot of my favorite jobs in our, in our series right now. We had the treat of stacking bales on Ashton Corners for a while. That was fun in the 7R. Great tractor. We had... We were able to do some more stacking in... Richlands with the old case getting those straw bales sold which for a for a pretty pretty good profit and now in UMRV we get to haul some manure in the snow so that's pretty cool we uh, spent last night when I was going to do this recording like an hour and a half grinding through the winter months just feeding cows pretty much would go to sleep wake up at 8 feed the cows go back to sleep wake up at 8 feed the cows it was it was a grind I'm not going to lie to you it was it was a grind but we did it it's what you got to do to get through the winter months. Not a whole lot to do, just to feed the cows. So we try to always do at least one winter episode. But it was time the manure trigger was filling up, filling up in both the pens. So we needed to get that manure out so we can produce more manure and spread it on our fields before we cultivate the spring. Um, and I was getting sick of just feeding the cows, so I figured, hey, let's do a different job, let's record it, make an episode, and yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm happy with my decision to do that, so, I really like this Fent, this has definitely been a good tractor to use for various activities I think we got it just right on what jobs we kind of got 
going with this one. Um, we don't have, we're not doing any slurry because you don't really have slurry pits on a feedlot, I would think. Because you're not having like, you're not like in a, you know, freestall barn or a tie stall where you have the slats in the ground and you scrape into a manure, or a manure, a manure, <laughs> a slurry, liquid, liquid manure, you know, pit below the barn type of thing. That's just not what you do. You, I mean, I'm basing most of my knowledge of a feedlot off of Sunny Farms and they don't do slurry. So they just, they just haul out their, uh, old manure and all that junk from their pens and do it that way so yeah we're kind of mimicking that a little bit I would say but you know it would be cool it would be very cool if someone made a um, sunny farms map something I looked into But, I don't know. I have all sorts of ideas. Me and Pleasant View Farms were talking and we were like, it's crazy how many ideas you have. Like, once you actually, like, know how to do the stuff to, like, create things and edit things and all that kind of stuff for Farming Simulator, the ideas for different stuff just are non-stop in your head of what you could do <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things you have a thought that it would be cool to do something like that but then reality hits and it's like well we don't really have time to do all that stuff so you know just just one of those things we got our priorities and the other things kind of uh, take the back seat. Just pipe dreams. But it's fun to think. When you're a creative person, you are always thinking about what you could, could create and all that junk. So, yeah. It's kind of the same with me for with being a chef. It's I'm always thinking about like what kind of dishes you could really create and how to how to plate them nicely and all that kind of stuff so but anyway yeah, I think we'll probably get three four well this is our third load already but we get four loads for sure if not five which should definitely finish that field up and we can move on to a different field Gotta make sure we're not taking that much. Or else we're gonna nose dive our payloader. No one wants that, so. Thinking. Now. We'll uh, throw this into a quick time lapse. And uh, I'll catch you guys once we are reaching the end here.
So we got our manure spread, some of it. We got at least the main pen here spread. There's obviously some more building up there already, but uh, we needed to get a load of hay brought in. So we did purchase eight hay bales, large hay bales. Right now, I am only using one hay bale. We were using two while we were using the uh, corn silage bales that we had bought earlier before we actually had silage. So we have now broken into the first silage pit and our mix has kind of changed. We are only using one hay bale one grass bale and um, a bucket load of silage so we've actually done pretty good getting into this actually if you guys can see we've put a good dent into it already so it's going quick Just gotta get these last few bales loaded up and then we are going to grab some cows and haul them down to the uh, livestock market I'm in right now I say that we're gonna do that I am very much debating internally with myself if I should or not because it is we're at 94% I was hoping that we would be at 100% puberty and we're not we're at 94 but for episode purposes because <laughs> I said I was going to do that but I guess what stopped me before changing my mind from what I've said I was going to do um I don't think that we're going to, or I think that we're going to still do it. Oh, man, I don't know. I am just, because these cows who are close to reproduction are three grand a piece. So I really feel like if we just wait until they're 18 months, we are going to get a uh, price spike. But I want to buy some calves. So that's kind of my issue right now and if we buy calves we want to buy a lot of calves so let's take the gator over to one of the pens I am going to still uh, go down and do and like purchase them manually like haul them back and stuff because I like to do that but we need to Let's go down to this first pen here where we're going to keep the first group. Got to open that. And then I think. Okay, so 300. So if we bought 60, it'd be 21 grand. I think I want to buy 120 calves for this pen alone. And then I think 
I would like to, in a few months, do get another load of calves over in the next pen. And then when these, these, these cows have their calves, we'll keep them in the pen with them for a bit. And then we'll move them into a new group. Or into the pasture. If anybody's a real, like, beef farmer with a feedlot, I'd love to chat with you. If you're in my Discord, let me know, and I'd love to DM you, because I kind of want to know how all of the grouping works kind of thing. Um, I might be editing some custom, like, ground, like, grazing ground pasture things where we can take them out, like, take pears out and put them in, the pas in a pasture or something like that. It would be really cool if you could put them on, like, corn stalks. And that would count as, like, your real grazing mod type of thing. That would be really cool. Because I know a lot of ranchers, or, like, cow people, sunny farms, about that. They uh, put their pears out on corn stalks and let them graze out there. So, But that would be cool. But anyway, so yeah, if you're a farmer, or you know a thing or two about this kind of farming, and you're in my Discord, hit me up. Is I would really love to uh, know. So now that I'm talking it out, we're not going to sell them. <laughs> we are going to, I think, honestly, I think we might lease a big cattle trailer that can hold more animals. Like, that's only 12. That's a horse. Like this one. Or you can do 60. That would be really nice. I think we might do that. I think we might lease this and haul them ourselves. Because it is quite a drive. And it's going to take us a bit if we just did 20 at a time. So, with that being said, I'm going to go... I'm going to grab the semi-truck, the Big Pete... And we're going to give that a go. And then in next month, when these cows are actually past their puberty like time, and I can, and hopefully we get a price increase because of that, we will uh, we'll sell them then, which I think will probably be next episode. So. Alright, so we are just hooked up to the livestock trailer that we just leased and we need to head right next door to pick up our calves luckily not too long of a trip <laughs> and hopefully we can haul quite a few it's kind of my big worry is with how that livestock trailer was Although I think that uh, Sooner trailer has been fixed. How do we want to do this? We got a back in, it looks like. So yeah, I think that Sooner trailer, the small livestock trailer that we have, has been fixed. At least I s saw an update. I don't know how long ago it was updated, but we're just driving over the curb. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nobody saw. This is definitely a tight fit here at the animal sell point or buy point, I guess, in our case. No. Perfect. We're going to buy 60 calves. All loaded up in there. 18 grand. It looks like we're pulling. Good deal. That is what we need. So. so, as we are running relatively short on time here, the also the worst truck driver in Farm Sim, apparently, because <laughs> we're just running over every curb, so. But anyway, yeah, we're running out of time here with the recording, so uh, I will uh, see you guys back up at the farm. We're just about passing the farm now. Was not the 
quickest trip. We definitely were struggling up the uh, steep inclines here uh, from the town to the farm. Uh, we were only going like 19 miles an hour up those hills, so that was uh, an experience. I think we're going to just kind of pull around here. If we can, maybe we'll... Yeah, maybe this will be the best thing to do. So we're going to pull around. We're going to make a big old loop. And I also haven't mentioned how great it is to see the sunshine and some green grass. It is a sight for sore eyes over that miserable winter we had very little sign of sunshine or grass <laughs> so it's good to be back in some warmer months able to get back in the field and do some jobs so gonna need to open this gate quick before we Get in here. Here we go. We need to get out and let the ramp down. We got the ground load version because we knew we would be unloading them into the pen here. Let's see, is there a... Well, I thought there was simple I see in this. Do I have the wrong one? I have to unfold it. I thought there was simple I see. Oh, no, it's just X. Oh, it's just buttons. That's pretty slick, isn't it? Wow, fancy fancy. We'll unload them. Look at these guys. Look at them. Don't you escape. Little cow. Some good looking cows here. Got ourselves some good looking cows. So, they'll be growing just fine so we are going to hop back in the truck well, we gotta we can do this close it back up and we are going to head back down and get ourselves another load so and with that i think that's going to be the end of the video too so we got quite a bit done today we got through two months uh, well through one month and we're working on getting through the next and I think we're going to be planting here soon we got yeah I mean we're going to be into corn soybean planting here soon probably going to be planting some oats this time around I would imagine since we didn't have the opportunity to do any winter wheat so I think we're going to need something for straw well, we do have a lot of straw, so maybe not, but anyway, yeah, so that is going to be it for us here, and uh, all that's left to say is thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.